you and I, we know it's all about being witchy. Hello, my celestial friends. I'm Echo, the Saving Sorceress, and today I wanted to put together some witchy looks for all winter occasions. So, you know, Halloween ended, of course, over a month ago, and I miss it already. I am just <sighs> so sad because that's really my favorite time of year. It's when I thrive. But, you know, just because Halloween is over doesn't mean we have to stop being witchy. I think we can definitely bring that into the winter season, bring that into the holidays, bring it into the cold months in general. So... I thought I'd put together a few concepts, some ideas, for what I would wear at least, if I was attending any of these events that I'm going to list, or if I was just, you know, in need of a little dash of witchy whimsy in my winter day. So, I thought I would share with you the concept and then show you the outfits I put together. Some are definitely going to be more hits than others, but I thought this would be a fun way to sort of shop my closet, use what I already have to come up with some new ideas and a few old favorites, and just really bring the essence of witchy to a season that's sometimes lacking that. So let's get started. So first up we've got office holiday party. I feel like that's a pretty relatable one for a lot of people. And I wanted to go with something that was recognizably witchy, but not so witchy that it scared away all of your co-workers. Like, just little dashes of whimsy. Little touches of something special. Something magical. And, you know, not, not going too hard going just hard enough. <laughs> Adding a little bit of glitter, you always want that, especially at an office holiday party, you know, sounds good. But nothing that's too over the top, you're still appropriate enough for work, you know, until the party gets wild, but it's your call what you want to, you know, leave on or take off later. None of my business. <laughs> but yeah, I think this look says, I'm all business, but also, I have an apothecary out back, and I'm ready to throw it down a little bit. Next up, we've got a kind of big one that I think, unfortunately, a lot of people can probably relate to. Christmas or the holidays in the broom closet. Or, you know, more specifically, the holidays in the broom closet with your hostile family. <laughs> you know. It happens. It's unfortunate, but it happens. And I think for this one, I was going for a more subtle look. I wanted to say, hey, I'm a witch, but also not let anyone know about that. Like if anyone questioned you, you could be like, uh, no, I don't. Why would you say that? What, what would prompt you? to suggest such a thing. <laughs> what? Anyway, for my witchy outfit of choice, I decided on something that has my moon belt that I thrifted a few thrift hauls ago, I think. But it's not really a huge standout belt, except for the belt buckle, which when all buckled together, looks just like a moon bringing those witchy vibes on in. And also, I thought I would add a little bit of glitter. It could be festive for the holidays, or a touch of magic. You know, whoever's looking at it can decide. And we'll just go pretty simple on the rest of the outfit. Let's try not to scare anybody away. But we know, you and I, we know it's all about being witchy. We know that's what we're doing here. We're just keeping it subtle, but we're still all set and ready to enchant someone if they get on our bad side. You know, with good vibes. And next, obviously, we have to go for the polar opposite. Dancing in the forest with your coven. 
So for this one, I chose an old favorite, my long purple robe. And I added some decorations. Want to look my best for my fellow witches. And you know, stay warm, because it is winter time and we don't want to freeze. So you gotta be cozy with the nice soft velvet and the long sleeves and the hood. It's just, it's a delightfully good time. Also super comfortable, I swear. Every single time I put this on, I'm like, I don't want to take it off. You can't make me! And I do anyway because I live in the South and people already look at me weird when I get my mail, so maybe let's not encourage that. Or encourage it, I don't know. Sometimes I'm feeling a little brave. But, you know, eventually I take it off. Fine, I guess I'll wear like regular clothes for a bit. Why can't we all just wear robes and be comfortable and happy in the forest? I couldn't decide whether I wanted to go with the moon chain belt that I made a while back or to use just a classic thin golden rope to wrap around and really add that, you know, basic witch touch. Don't mess with perfection. And hey, why stop there? Let's go full on formal. Like, to some really big event, or to a really big dance, or just, I don't know, the Oscars. <laughs> what happens in the winter? I don't keep up with award shows anymore. But, you know, you want to go to a big event, but you want to bring your magic with you. You want to bring your witchy vibes. So I'm like, let's go full on prom dress looking deal. This is actually my old prom dress. Didn't wear it to prom, didn't go to prom. I didn't really care about prom. I just wanted to wear a pretty dress and I've actually worn this multiple times because Surprise, surprise, I throw a costume party sometimes. I feel like that's not surprising to people who watch this channel. <laughs> but I'm going full on very prom dress. It's a classic, it's a vintage one. And then I'm adding my duster, maybe a capelet, barrettes, or possibly, possibly even a 1920s style cloche hat. They're coming back in style, and I feel like, you know, 1920s, 2020s, let's bring some of the, you know, better vibes from last century, and not the bad ones, in. And, you know, the clothes hat, I feel like it just, it just works, you know? It, it may be a little too much, but I'm always a little too much. I'm all about this. So, I am in love with this. I think it just, it screams fancy. And sometimes I want my outfits to scream fancy. <laughs> but all right, let's get back to a more grounded place. I'm sure not everyone needs to go, you know, to a formal ball during the winter season. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing with your life. If I had a choice, I'd be going to a formal ball, but I guess not everybody needs that. So I was thinking, how about a look for a night out with friends or a date night or, you know, just something where you want to look cute. So I decided to put together this outfit with my favorite dress, the moon and stars dress. <sighs> when I thrifted that, it was just, it was perfection. I am still so, so happy that I have it, and I try to wear it as much as I can. So I'm thinking moon and stars dress, a little moto jacket, cause you know, those are back in style too, and also I feel like it looks really good with this dress. I'm a fan. And then a cute little red ribbon headband, adding a touch of color to really make the whole outfit pop. And then maybe some patterned tights to really just bring the whole thing together. 
oh no, now I'm starting to get feelings like I want to leave the house so I can actually wear this again and oh, this is terrible. No, let's go to the next one. Oh good, it's a cozy winter night of staying in. Yeah, okay, I feel better. I'm such an introvert. But anyway, I love dressing up. I love looking like I'm about to go out. But really, let's be honest. Most days, I'm gonna stay in. And I'm gonna be in my PJs. So, let's just get the witchiest PJs I can find. You'll also probably recognize them, because I thrifted them in my loungewear haul a while back. But I am just in love with them so, so much. They are super soft. I just feel positively magical when I'm wearing them. And I am just really glad that I have something that is a little more practical for those cold winter days. Because again, let's be honest, sure, I could wear those other things, but most days, I want to be getting cozy in my PJs. I mean, what else do you want to do on a cold winter day? Imagine it. Snow falling outside the window. You're sitting there reading a book and just feeling good, feeling warm and cozy. And maybe there's the glow of a Himalayan salt lamp in the background, just, you know, bringing up those really nice and cozy vibes. It's the best part about winter, getting to be cozy. I love it. So, which of these outfits was your favorite? Please let me know in the comments below. And, I've been thinking about doing a few more of these where I sort of style an outfit, a witchy outfit, for any sort of occasion, and I would really, really love it if you shared any ideas you had for a creative time period in which you could wear a witchy outfit, or a specific season, or just a scenario that I didn't think of in this video. I'm thinking of, you know, making this a regular thing maybe, and I would really love it if you just shared with me what you'd like to see a witchy outfit for. And I don't care how crazy it gets, I would love absolutely insane ideas, I would love, you know, just basic things day to day that you think, hmm, I'd like to add a spicy touch of witch to that, but especially ideas that are a little bit out there. <laughs> like, you know, eating lunch with your vampire boyfriend on the moon kind of deal. <laughs> so please share your ideas. I cannot wait to read them. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really love it if you would add a like and subscribe and stick around for more videos like this about witchy fashion and sewing and crafting and thrifting. Everything with a witchy spin. I've missed you my celestial friends and I am just so glad to be back. Taking a month off was a good idea. I think we all need some mental health time and especially after a busy busy Halloween month. I needed some time to just chill out and think about how to bring my witchy essence back. <laughs> also, to those of you who have been participating in Neopagan November, I've really been enjoying your videos, so it was a fun time to just watch what other people were doing while I was taking a little bit of a break. But I am so glad to be back right now, and I am just ready to have a ball. I've got a whole bunch of videos that I'm really excited about coming up soon, so be sure to stay tuned. And remember my celestial friends, save every opportunity to be a little bit witchy, be kind to yourself and to the universe, and try to add a little bit of magic wherever possible to your corner of the world. Bye. I think this look says, I'm Disney. I'm Disney. <laughs>